Hey guys, so this will be a quick sum up from the previous video on how to migrate your website from a local host to a live site with just a few clicks. So assuming this was the website I wanted to migrate my already designed website on a local host to. We can get started by heading to both website backend and I would want to install the plugin called All-in-One WP Migration. So just as you would any other plugin, hover over this and select Add New. Then search for All-in-One WP Migration by Sebmax. Install and then activate. Also you want to repeat the same for the local host because this goes both ways. And I believe it's worth mentioning that this works be it from a local host to a web host or from one web hosting provider to another. Now from here I want to hover over this option on the admin toolbar and select export. Now I just have to click on export to file. These other options underneath are all tied to the premium version of this plugin, but the file option does exactly what we need it for without problems. So let's select file. And once it's done, you should see this button to download the file we just exported. So let's download the file. And because this is a local host, it's bound to quickly download the file as opposed to if the site was hosted on a web hosting provider and also depending on how fast your internet speed is. Now let's head back to the site you'd want to migrate this particular site to. And this time you want to select import instead. So let's import from file. And select the file you just downloaded to your PC. And you just have to give it a couple of minutes to fully get uploaded. And once that's uploaded, you should see this message that states this action will overwrite everything on this site, be it the database, media files, teams, as well as plugins. And it will be advisable to have a backup of this site first, unless it's a fresh install of WordPress. Since this is a fresh install for me, I'll proceed to import the site's file. Now, I believe it's also worth mentioning that everything on this site has inherited virtually everything from the local host down to the site username and password. So, chances are if I refresh this page, I will probably be logged out of this site and I would have to enter in my username and password again. So, if I try the previous login details, I would for sure get this. And instead of going with the original username and password earlier set to the site, I would rather use that of the site I just migrated from. And I can just select this to visit my site. And that's how to easily migrate a website from a local host to a live site. If you found this video helpful, a like would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.